Hi guys, it's Stacy from Clothes Lip On and it is time for a thrift haul. I am so excited. I have not done one of these in a while, I feel like. So this is all coming from one thrift store and then one blogger sale that I went to. I spent quite a bit of money over the two days, but it's gonna be well worth it. I'll start off with the blogger sale, even though that's where I went second. It's the bag that's in front of me first. So first thing I picked up is, all right, first thing I picked up is an Elizabeth and James dress. So this is what it looks like. It is like this bright orange. It's got cutouts all over. It's super cute. I was very excited about that one. Elizabeth and James dresses sell for quite a bit of money. I picked up one pair of jeans and they are made well. So these are the flea market flare. Oh, I didn't even know this when I got them. They are new with tags. Um, I've sold flea market flare before and they sell for a lot. And with these being new with tags, they will go for even more. They're a size 29. So I am extra excited. I didn't realize they were new with tags. Uh, I picked up two different wild fox. So this is wild fox white label. I don't really know if that makes it like more expensive or less expensive or anything, but it says turn on, tune in, drop out. And it's all in sequence. And then I got one more Wild Fox. Um, and it is this. I'm really a mermaid. And I know stuff like this does really well, especially on Poshmark. So I was excited about these. And then this, the mermaid one's a small, but it's pretty big. Uh, this is a Show Me Your Mumu halter dress. Uh, so here is the label. And then thanks to Jenna Empty Hanger, she has showed us that they have the style name written on the tag. So this is the Hammock Halter Scrunch Dress. All right, next I picked up some Jeffrey Campbell boots. These are a size five, so they're pretty small. Um, but yeah, these I will have to look up style name, but they're in really awesome condition. And then I picked up these really cool Nikes and the shoelaces say Chicago on them and then they say some other stuff too like forces female they're just like really cool and unique my friend thinks they maybe were custom made um but yeah I think these are also probably a size five because they're from the same blogger okay these are a size six from Nike um but yeah they're really cool they like the splatter design they have like a sequin check um they're just really awesome all right, next I got a Rebecca Minkoff bag. This is one where you can like pull the chain and you can have it be longer. Or if you want it to be more of a shoulder bag, you can have it be shorter. It's got like the studs all over it. It's just really cool. And then it does say the Rebecca Minkoff on the back here. Um, I didn't look up comps on this. This has like the dust bag and it has the paper inside. So I do believe that it is new without tags. Um, but yeah, I didn't check comps because I'm pretty confident in the style of this. So we will see how that does. And then the last thing I got at the blogger sale is this, uh, let me get it to focus. I got this lovers and friends. It is a maxi dress. So I can't get it all in frame, but it is like a wrap style maxi dress and lovers and friends does really good for me. So I grabbed that one. And then we will move on to thrift store finds. So the first thing I grabbed um, is a 41 Hawthorne. So this is just a striped skirt from Stitch Fix and it's got the exposed zipper in the back. Um, next I grabbed, this has a little more wear to it, which I will disclose, but it is Postmark from Anthropology. It is just this striped shirt but it has a horse print all over it and novelty prints always do really well all right next i grabbed j crew um this is just a size eight plaid it seemed like a really good like holiday color plaid so i picked that up all right next is bowden so I specifically like picking up Bowdoin if it is plus size. This is 18 long. It is like a wool polka dot dress. So I think this will do really well. All right, next I picked up Vineyard Vines. 
Alright, so there's the logo. It's just a long sleeve shirt. Alright, next is this J. Crew collab shirt. I looked up comps on this. This is the tuxedo shirt. It is like this gingham print, and the comps were amazing on this. So I was really excited about this one. This is Paper Moon for Stitch Fix. It is new with tags. It's just a plain black dress, but it does have this like scallop detailing at the bottom. I would have passed on this if it wasn't new with tags, but I did get it since it had tags attached. Loft is a brand that I don't always pick up, but this is a really cute elephant print cardigan. So I got that because again, novelty prints always do really well. I found two super dry pieces, which I thought do pretty well, but the comps actually look so so. I had sold, I thought was a super dry sweater before, but it, I looked it up and it was sun dry or sundry. I don't know how you say it, but um, I know this is really big in like the London area, so I don't know if they do better maybe on eBay, but this is like a men's thick um, plaid shirt. All right, this is 1 September from Anthropology. It's just this like cute white lace shirt. All right, this is Leap Daughter, which is also Anthropology. This is probably my favorite find. It is a button down and it has a bird print all over it. It's so pretty. All right, I found a joie piece. So it is just this cute floral blouse. The sleeves are a different floral than the front. Um, Joie tends to have a style name in it or style number. It doesn't always actually give me an image. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I think it depends on how old it is, but you'll find that in here. So this toward the top, it has a style number and you can try and look it up that way. All right, this is another joie since I just showed the tag. I'm just going to hold this back. It's another little silk blouse from them. This is Meadow Rue from Anthropology. So I've actually sold this tank before, but in a different print, but it's just like a layered tank top. I had never heard of this brand before, and I don't normally pick up skirts, but this is Emerson made. I looked up comps on this and the comps were pretty good, so I decided to give it a try. Picked up two skirts, which is way out of the box for me. All right, Maeve, which is one of my favorite anthropology brands. This is just a little polka dot blouse. It has like ruffles on the sleeve. It's really adorable. All right, here's another J. Crew. It's the same tag that I showed you guys before size 10. It's just a chambray button down. This is And Other Stories, which is a really good brand. So it is just um, another button down and the buttons hide behind this little flap. So I found a lot of button downs today, which I is out of my norm a little bit. Another J. Crew. This is a t-shirt and it has Gemini on it. Um, figured a lot of people are really into their Zodiac, so I would grab that. This is Logo Lori Goldstein. This brand tends to sell fast for me. It either sells super fast or it sits, um, but I thought style-wise this would be good and this tends to flip a little faster on eBay for me. All right, this is James Purse. James Purse can do really well. This is just kind of a like ribbed t-shirt, so it probably won't go for a lot, but it is a good brand. All right, and the last thing in this haul is this other super dry shirt that I got. This is a women's one and it is a plaid button down. Um, we'll see how the super dries end up doing, but I'm really excited about what I found. If you guys like thrift haul videos and you want to see more of them, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any video suggestions that you want to see in the future, let me know in a comment down below and I will definitely try to make that happen. If you're not subscribed to this channel, I hope you will subscribe. Click the red button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.